Hello guys. So today uh, I'm going to make video on the calibration on calibration of multiparameters, right? So basically we know that uh, we are using patient monitors in the ICU as well as ward in the OT. There are different different type of monitors like a three para monitor. Uh, five para monitor that's why it is called multi para why it is called multi para because we can check at a time number of parameters like a ecg sp2 rr right uh, we can measure co2 right so that's why it is called multi para monitor so what are the readings has to be displayed on the monitor these readings are very important for the doctors if machine will give the wrong readings definitely treatment will be goes wrongly to the patient that's why each and every equipment should be calibrated properly. So today I am going to show you how to calibrate the machine. Either machine is giving the readings, either they are correct or wrong. So just today we will see how to calibrate like a SPO2, ECG and NIVB. So first of all I will show you how to calibrate SPO2. See for the measurement of SPO2 we measure the percentage of oxygen inside the body. So for that with the monitor we know that they have provided one SPO2 probe, right? This probe they have provided, it have marking, finger like structure is there, right? Suppose now I am going to just put my finger inside this probe, it will start to show you the readings here, right? Now machine you start science and see you can observe here 99% uh, SPO2, right? They are showing, right? That means machine is working. So now I will check it onto the SPO2 calibration tool. Just I am going to remove it. So we have SPO2 calibration tool. See, uh, this is nothing but fluke make SPO2 calibration tool. In this, what we can do, they have provided different different reference reading of the SPO2, right? Like a 60, 40, 90, 89. We can set the different different values. Whatever value I am going to set on the fluke tool, same value has to be displayed on the monitor. That means your monitor is calibrated, right? That means it is working properly. So now we have to set it onto the 97%. Uh, Come close. Can you observe? This is a 97%, right? Now this is a like a finger. So I am just going to put it here. Right. I have just connected a photo probe to the machine and just I am waiting for the readings now. Just <coughs> connect it properly. Now machine has to start to take the readings. See, we have set here 97% and machine also display 97%. Have you observed? Right? That means machine is working. Now I am going to change the values. So how to change the value? For the changing the values, you just now select the suppose uh, 80 percent. Now I am going to set 80 percent on the fluke tool. Same has to be displayed here. Come close. Now have you observed? This is 80 percent if I have to set. Right? 80 percent. Now same value has to be displayed here. Now see, it is 82. Right? It controls. Right? Can you observe? This is 80%. Means there is a 0% of tolerance, 0% of error in this machine. But sometimes there is a variation of one or two that is allowed inside the machine. This it is called instrumental error. But in this machine there is no error. So in this way you can calibrate any type of monitors with help of flip tube. Right? Thank you.